up you guys welcome back to my channel so for today i am totally off the cuff barely planned this i'm going to go into my instagram i had been on my stories earlier this morning and i said listen for one of today's videos i want to do a q a there is so many i literally said this i'm like there is a plethora of questions that i'm getting asked in my instagram dms and in the comments on here which i do my best to answer hello welcome to the party dear friend carl Oh my, as soon as I'm filming, he opens the door, he wants to say hi, he's here. Welcome, you've joined us. Okay, you can just sit there awkwardly. You guys, he wasn't here five seconds ago, just walked in. So I'm gonna pull up the questions on the story that I posted and just answer all of it. Nothing will be off limits. So let's do, I'm a little bit scared, let's do this. Um, Andre might join us later if a question pertains to something that he might be able to answer better than me. I will call him in. He's just in the other room. So let's do this. something you want to see, then just keep watching. I'm going to start at the beginning. There's so, oh my, I'm okay. Just to give you an idea. So I'll try and mash through as many as I can. I'm going to start at the beginning of it. Obviously I'm not going to start with the people that just asked. I will start with the people that asked the questions first. Okay. What, and I'll, I'll try and screenshot everyone's question. What YouTubers do you follow and why? My favorite current YouTuber to follow is Tati. I think it's just Tati, her name's Tati Westbrook, but she does like makeup. And the reason why I follow her, and I also love Scott Barnes, and I asked for some Scott Barnes makeup for Christmas. I didn't ask for her palette because it sold out. I should have just gotten it. But I love watching her while I'm doing my makeup and I just kind of follow along and I feel like I'm listening and talking to her. So that's why I started doing longer videos because I just feel like if you're getting ready in the morning or you just want to listen to a longer video, that's why I started creating. That's why I do stuff like this. So you can just prop me up and listen to me yammer. Cause that's what I do. I love watching her. So she's one of my favorites right now. And honestly, I just post those on my Instagram. I'm looking for other YouTubers to follow me because I feel like I don't follow enough people. I also love Sarah's day. Can you guys see him on, under the bench? Where do you get inspiration for your home decor also love you well thank you i love you too michaela my home decor i would say a lot of the inspiration that i get would be from inside my noggin which i know is not the right answer but it's just the truth i do look on pinterest for certain things but i've always been someone that i know what i like and especially with home decor i studied architecture in school so i don't know if that makes you feel a little bit better if that helps but it's just a field of interest i love it and i'm very certain on things that I like. I like a very rustic feel, very industrial, rustic, and actually very masculine. Like every, I felt like I had a lisp whenever I said that. Everything we have is like dark gray and very like bachelor pad-ish, but I love it. So, and as I say that as there's like a pink tree behind me, but I know what I like. I've always done that. If you guys want to, I can add a, I have a lot of secret boards on my Pinterest. I never really made it that public until recently. And I can just make my home decor inspiration board public. If that's something you guys want to see, if it is, let me know. I can be more active on Pinterest because there's a lot going on behind the scenes on Pinterest so I can make it public. Just let me know if that's something that would interest you guys. Um, Jenna asked, can you show, oh, there's a typo. Can you show your engagement ring? I know it's random, but I love it. Yes. So this is like a newer ring, but I still love it. So I'll show you both. So it's by Burks, which I, I don't know if that's a Canadian company and they don't sell this anymore. And I was supposed to have a second piece to it. Okay, so there is like the actual engagement ring, which I feel is still out of focus. There we go. So I like the side of it. There we go. Okay, and I have really little fingers. And then this is the wedding band and it kind of like goes into it. And we we're supposed to do a second half, but they don't make this ring anymore. So Andrew would have to customize it, which I don't know if it's worth it. So that, and then this one is a more recent one from, I don't know, like five years ago. And it's a Morganite stone. So the diamond or the, the stone on it is like a little bit pink and it's very rose gold and same thing. Like I love the side of it. So we nailed down three questions of like hundreds. Let's keep going. Details on the new house and how much, oh, how much is it costing? Well, I think there's gonna be a lot of questions about the new, yeah, okay. So the, the new house, I did a full, like I think it's like a 45 minute sit down video about it. So if you guys wanna check that out, I'll link it down below. That'll answer 
most of these questions. Like I saw a couple questions about, are we moving? When will it be ready? When are we putting the shovel in the ground? Like I answered all of that in there, but basically we're going back. I'm really excited actually. We're going back in a couple of weeks to like for the official ding, like whenever we were there and we dug like the ceremonial groundbreaking thing, um, that wasn't actually like, that was just as like a celebration and it was so cute and I, I teared up a little bit. It was, it's a huge goal of ours and we're super, super excited about it. And we'll continue to take you along on our journey on stories and everything, but it was a massive, huge pie in the sky goal. Absolutely insane. And it will be a vacation home for us. All right. Working at home. Do you ever struggle getting out of bed and getting motivated? Absolutely. So that's what I always try and share in my morning routine, but I feel like I need to do a morning routine that's not at 5 a.m. that isn't so like on the best day ever. Cause I feel like my morning routines are like, if I have all my ducks in a row and everything's perfect and I'm feeling good and I have energy, like it's not always easy when it's dark in the morning and it's cold, which is why I tried to share my perspective on like how I do it and what motivates me to get out of bed and the tips and the tricks that I use. So if you didn't see my morning routine, I feel like that kind of gives a perspective, but yeah, it's, we live in Canada. It's like snowing and gray outside right now. My favorite phone apps. So what I can do is take you guys through I want to film a video like this where I just share like what's on my phone, but some of my favorite, I'll talk to you about like what's just on my main page. So I have my music, which I have Fit Radio, Sonos and Spotify on there. So Sonos is what's, if you can hear the music, that's not, that's not some fancy overlay in here. It just, it's just playing throughout the house. And then in terms of photo and video, I have Facetune, which I don't really use. Facetune, Retouch, I also don't really use that, but Retouch is awesome. Like if I ever take a picture like on our street or like in the street and there's like telephone lines going across the top, I can take that out with retouch. It'll just erase things. You can actually erase people too, which is insane. Preview, I love that. Um, Quick Shot and Kira Kira Plus, which is the thing that makes things sparkly. And then I have my DJI app. Oh, this is important. I have my like to know it. So if you guys don't follow me on there, I share, so you can download the like to know it. And I basically just share like everything. Here, I'm gonna pull it up so I can show you. So I follow like a bunch of fashion bloggers and like anybody that I wanna know their outfit, I follow them. So it's kind of like my little blog platform, but the way that I use it mostly is I'll take the cover photo for a YouTube video and plug in there anything that I'm wearing. So in this post, I shared like my little onesie, I shared the headband, I shared the mug, like literally what's in the thumbnail. So. If ever you're looking at something on a video that I'm doing, always just click in the description. The post will be up with absolutely everything. Like I'll link this top if it's still available. I'll link the pillow in the background. I'll link like a mug if I'm using it. I feel like this is a terrible example because I think a lot of these things are sold out, but mm. I will share as much as I can. So that's an app that's on my phone. My fitness stuff. I have my challenge tracker app that I use for my girls. I have, oh, an app that I love for organization just costs money is monday.com. That's what Andre and I use to stay in touch. I have my Disney World app right in the front. That's, that's pretty much it. Like they're really, I, there's nothing like Netflix. Oh, okay, another really cool app, Arrive. If you're like crazy stalker of parcels, I love knowing when my stuff is about to be delivered and Arrive takes the tracking numbers from your inbox. Like if you have a Gmail account and it'll tell you when everything's arriving and it'll notify you as it's moving. Love it. I'm, I'm a little bit crazy about that stuff. Okay. Where do you get all your inspiration for holiday and Halloween decor? Pinterest for sure. And I can start, like I said, I can start pinning more stuff. How old is Carl? Carl, how old are you? He's almost five. He just had a champagne birthday. His birthday's on March 4th. He's an old dog. Not really. Um, how do you deal with stress? I try and work out as often as possible. I don't really work out for... I feel like as I'm getting, oh, it's on the screen. I was like, oh my gosh, there's something on my shirt. Um, I don't really work out so much for for like appearance sake anymore. And I feel like that's something that like, as you get older, you kind of mature. I work out more so for like longevity and my mindset so that I'm like a kinder, nicer, happier person. So that's how I manage stress. I work out every single day. I do it from home in my basement. And I think that's the biggest benefit is just stress. What does your skincare routine look like pre and post workout? I always take a bath after my workout. I'm not one of those people that can just like stay in my workout outfit all day. I feel like that's, I can't do that. So I usually wash off all of the gunk and I love like a textured cleanser that like really gets the nitty gritty off. Um, a couple things that I'm using right now, I love Frey, 
which is like made for sweaty skin so that you don't break out. I love my skin chemistry kit, which I have another one coming in, which I will share with you guys, but I've talked about that in like my skin video. And then I just got this kit from Banish, which I love. And they have like this thing called the Banisher that it's, it basically like pokes your skin. It's like micro needling, but it's like the best micro needler. And it takes away of like scarring and acne and any, like it just for clear, beautiful, healthy skin. And I love it. So those would be like the three, I'll link everything down below. Best Disney park, a ride you must ride before leaving the park. I can answer that. Best Disney park would be Animal Kingdom and a ride that you need to ride is Flight of Passage. Boom, that was a pretty simple, that was a good answer um, and a good question. What are you and your husband's careers? My husband, I graduated with a degree in architecture. I never actually pursued it. I just jumped right into coaching. So I am a beach body coach full time. My husband quit his full time job and he does that. And that's literally what he's doing right now. He's in his office. So we both work from home full time as coaches. And I think someone had asked a question about that, about what they said, like, what is your, I saw it come through while I was on my phone. They said, what is your rank? Like, how do the ranks work? And what is ours? Because I know that's a really confusing thing. Like sometimes you hear people kind of boast about what they are and you're like, cool, I don't know what that means. When in reality, it might mean absolutely nothing. So don't ever put people like up on this huge pedestal. Now, to answer your question, there are different rankings and there's different things that you can achieve. So I feel like one of the first ranks that you would achieve that's like a really big deal in the beginning would be a diamond rank. And then there's star diamond, two star, and it just like the number just keeps going up. And from there, I think that once you've passed that, you can become what's called an elite coach. And I have a couple of those on my team, which usually those coaches, they do this full time. Like they're, they're very successful. And that would be where you would start to see like, I feel a significant income. And then from elite there, you have like your top elite coaches. So your top 10 is what they call them. So we've done that. Like we've done, we've been in the top 10 multiple times. So whenever you see us, like when we went to Greece and when we went to Italy, that was like our gift for being top 10. And the other thing, um, there's like million club and all that, which is just, that's just how much you've earned. So we've achieved that. So then within like different countries, which is kind of cool because we're Canadian, they rank the Canadian system. So as like ranking, I've been the top Canadian coach for four years in a row, like number one in Canada. I just don't talk about it that much because I don't define my business on my rank. And I also realize that normal humans don't really know what that means. So I don't really share it that much, but our team, like I, Angie Belmar has been number one in Canada for the last four years, which is really weird. And I don't, I should talk about it more, but I'm good on that front. But what it means basically is that not only am I doing good, but my team's doing good. And that's what makes me happy. So hopefully that answers your question. What are the things that make you smile the most? Probably Carl. He's like right sitting down here. Probably Carl and Andre, my little, my little family. Will you be keeping your home in Ottawa or moving fully to Walt Disney World ETA for your move? Yeah, that's all like that video where I sat down and I, it's titled moving to Disney. It's all in there, but no, we're definitely, it's very difficult for two Canadians to pack up and move completely to the States is like borderline impossible and extremely expensive and extremely complicated and time consuming. So we're just happier and we love our house. So we're going to keep our home here and that will be a, a vacation home for us. Do you and Andre ever argue? Yes, <laughs> Andre and I have been together for like more than half my life. I met him when I was 15 and I am now 32 years old. <sighs> I feel old saying that. I always, I forget how old I am. So yes, absolutely, we definitely do. And about what? Everything from like where things go in the house to like a goal that we have to hit to a way to do work. Like we work together. So yeah, we definitely do. I think I saw another question about like, do you guys ever? Yes. Or someone said like, it looks like you guys never do. No, we do. <laughs> We're a normal couple. Um, what are your goals for 2020 now that the house is checked off? Honestly, finishing the house, creating a beautiful home. And we really want to put out uh, more products for you guys. So more things that, you know, include like, I would love to do I, everything from another book to, so we have a book out. That was a big goal last year. So we have an ebook, but I want to like print books and I want to create a planner and I want to create basically like an online academy where you guys can learn stuff, everything from like as simple as how to do Disney really, really well to like how to build your own business and how to crush it on social media. So like every, like I want to do more of that. So that's a big goal for 2020. What's my favorite thing about Christmas? 
I honestly think like it's it's really not about like gifts and the parties and the outfits and all that stuff for us it really isn't I just love like the vibes of it like it really and it's you know what it is I was telling Andrea this the other day it's the same reason why I love Disney it's just super super happy and it's like extreme shots of serotonin every single day like the music is better the food is better the lights are brighter like it's just it's just happier which that's why I love it. So I start decorating as soon as possible and I leave it up as late as possible. Not that late really. After your house at Disney, do you have a next big scary goal? Honestly, not yet. And I know that's really weird, but that was just such a big goal for such a long time. And I think right now we're just focused still on the goal for 2020, having a successful build because we're still knee deep into it. So we have to build the house. We're still designing the house. Like yesterday I picked my bathtub. We picked our oven, which is so cool by the way. So we picked that on Friday. Like we're still very much knee deep into this. So that's, we are still dead set on that. And then I think we'll shift. Being Canadian, do you speak French and understand French? Yes. So my last name, like, well, Andre's last name that I took as his wife. So my maiden last name is Fisher which is super English. My mom is French Canadian, which is like, she's the most French Canadian, French Canadian you could ever meet. So her last name is Tremblay, which in French would be Tremblay. So we're, Andre and I are both French. So his last name is actually pronounced Belmar. It's, we're, we're like as French Canadian as, as you can get. So we went to French high school, not French immersion, like full French high school. That's how we met, I stalked him. So Andre's name actually has like an accent on the E and it's Andre Belmar. So to answer your question, we are very French, <laughs> so yes. Favorite Disney movie and least, <gasps> least favorite Disney movie. I'm gonna offend people if I say my least favorite Disney movie. I'm just Googling worst Disney movies and one of my favorite Disney movies is on the list. Chicken Little is one of my, I love Chicken Little. Okay, so there's a movie on this list I totally agree with, The Black Cauldron. I hated that movie when I was a kid, it scared the bejesus out of me. I'm trying to think of like my least favorite movies. Anyone where like everyone dies, I hate it. And I usually don't really dislike any Disney movies because they're so happy. I just, I really don't like horror moves, movies that are like all about shock and awe, I hate that. But favorite, I would say Wreck-It Ralph. I love Wreck-It Ralph. Yeah. Definitely Up, because that's what Carl's named after. I love Ratatouille. I really think that that ride's gonna be one of my favorites in Disney. Do you like Starbucks? And what is your favorite drink? Love from Germany. Oh, I love Germany. My favorite, you guys, I drink this all year round, a white chocolate peppermint mocha and Andre with sometimes an extra shot. That's my favorite drink. It's always been my favorite drink and I don't just drink it at Christmas. I'm weird like that. What is your favorite restaurant on Walt Disney World property? Flying fish on the boardwalk. How cold is in Canada and how do I handle it? I don't, that's why we're moving to Florida. <laughs> It's friggin' cold. It's super cold right now. Um, let me pull up the weather network. It's, I'm gonna say it in Celsius because that's what I know. It is minus seven feels like minus 12. What is that in Fahrenheit? I'm actually curious. It's 10 degrees Fahrenheit. It's cold. It's legit cold. And then this week it's going to be, it's gonna go all the way to minus 16 on, which will feel like minus 20. So minus 20, minus four Fahrenheit. It's cold. And it's not even that cold in Ottawa because we're in a valley. So where we're from is, is Ottawa, the capital. Do you think you'll get Carl a brother or a sister? Carl was supposed to have a sister. We were gonna get, a, we were gonna get two dogs. We were gonna get Carl and Ellie. And so we started with Carl and we were like, no, that's it. That's all we can handle. So we didn't get a second dog, but that was the original plan. Um, any tips for self-conscious shy gals like myself? I used to be really, really shy. Um, oh, that's from Al Amy Allison. Um, I used to be really, really shy. So I would say, I would say definitely being on video has helped me, but I will give you the biggest tip. Everything that you, every time that you do something that scares you a little bit, you kind of like break that shell and you grow a little bit more. So one of the scariest first things that I did as like a shy, shy human was speak on a stage. And I grew from there. And then I spoke on a bigger stage and I spoke on a bigger stage and then I started doing YouTube videos and I just got better and better. And if you ever really want to feel better about yourself being shy, just go look at my first videos. Don't, but do, it'll make you feel better. That's why I leave them up. Cause it's like, whatever. Um, is it really hard to get up? Oh, this was the question. Is it really hard to get up at 5 AM with minus 20 outside? I would be so depressed. Well, thank you. Um, no, it's not that bad. Like, I actually find it peaceful in the dark and to wake up that early, like I like it, but yeah, it's not easy, which is why I wanted to film that morning routine in the winter, in the dark, like how do I do it? So yeah, what's my number one productivity hack? It always seems like 
I get so much done. I will give you my best productivity hack. I don't overwhelm myself with lists. I have a list of three things every single day, but they're three needle moving things. Like they're three things that actually matter that get me closer to my goal. And I don't do the whole, like I have a million things to do. I just pick three things that need to happen that day. And I don't stop until those three things get done. And it actually gets kind of, it gets addictive to like, continually hit your goals and to be able to cross off something that actually is needle moving. So that's how, that's what I would say. A lot of you guys asked what I use to film. So right now I'm on a Canon. I love Canon. I'll link my camera down below. I will link um, my big camera down below as well, as well as my mic and any tools that I use. But I have a video that I did that's, I think if you just search like Angie Belmar YouTube, or Angie Belmar camera would probably be better. I have two videos that I did. It's like how I film my videos and then how to start a YouTube channel. And they include everything that I use to film. I feel like I could do an updated one, but I love Canon and that's what I'm using right now. Someone asked, how can you quickly get to a six figure income as a coach? The answer is that you can't, you can't, there's no quick way to make money, especially in this business, especially in any other business. That's a legitimate business. Like if you're making money very, very quickly, run in the other direction because <laughs> it's not for real. I just think that putting your head down, doing the hard work, doing the things that many aren't willing to do is what's going to set you apart. That's really, that's the non pretty answer of it. There's a lot of questions about the house. Am I still with Beachbody? Yes, absolutely. Do I speak French? Yes. Are you going to decorate your Disney house? Heck yeah, we are. We're probably going to get them to do it. There's a lot about motivation. I feel like I should do a motivation podcast again. How much time do you plan on spending at the new house in Florida? So as a Canadian, you are allowed up to eight months a year. So what we're going to do is probably do two or three weeks, come home, do two or three weeks and come home and do two or three weeks. Oh, where did I get the game controller prints in my husband's office? I will link them down below. They're from society six. I don't know if they still have them. What is the hardest thing about building my business with Beachbody? Is it just your mindset? The hardest thing is the consistency. Once you've got that down, then you're good. But I work my business every single day. And I think the hardest thing for many people is treating it like a business because the investment is so small. You're basically just buying your workout program to get started. I think that a lot of people just don't take it as seriously as they could and see it as a potentially multi-million dollar business. They just see it as a hobby. So it pays them like a hobby. And that's just, honestly, I'm, I'm diving into like real talk of how I talk to my coaches right now, but that's really it. Like the more serious you take it. And I did because I didn't have any other choice. And I think that that's why I was so successful with it is I, I treated it like, okay, this thing could be huge and I'm going to work at it every day and I'm going to put in hours into it and I'm going to grow this thing. And there was no plan B that that's my other tip. Don't have a plan B. Um, someone asked how they can get started. I'm an email away. I always leave my email in the description, either email me or go on my website and all the information is there. There's one that's like how to work out with me and join my virtual bootcamp. And then there's how to work with me and join my team. And there's videos on there too, if you want more details, but yeah, always just email me. And it's me that answers my emails. How do I stay on track with my diet? Um, I just can't get enough of salty snacks. Me too. So, and then the same person asked a question that wanting to do my favorite movie, my Christmas movie with a popcorn kindred souls. I love salty snacks. I get it. The biggest tip I can give you. And I did like a full video of this for the girls in my boot camp. I basically try and not trick my brain, but I will, replace it with something that's just as delicious, but way healthier. So if you love popcorn, there's popcorn. Like I bought this type of popcorn that's like with sea, like pink Himalayan sea salt and coconut oil. So it's nowhere near as terrible as like having popcorn every single day. And there's different hacks that you can, that you can do, but you just have to train your mind that either it's only on one specific day of the week or just to swap it out with something. So if it's like the crunchiness that you love of chips, have some carrots with some tzatziki. That's what I do. And I've shared this before with like my margarita. I'll just do like a, like a lime bubbly with a little bit of lime juice and I'll still rim, put the salt rim around it. There just won't be any booze in it. So I just kind of trick myself. Top tips on your first trip to Disney World. Enjoy yourself. Don't try and do everything. Don't be stressed. And the most beautiful memories that you'll have will be from the most unexpected moments for sure. That was, that was very, I feel like that should be quotable in a book. Um, my favorite Christmas movie is I, you guys, I shared my Christmas movie list. Fred Claus is definitely my favorite Christmas movie. Um, alongside Miracle on 34th street. 
how often do you wash your hair and what shampoos and conditioners am I using? I jump from shampoo and conditioner constantly. I'm, I should probably do a video on it because I feel like I've found a good routine. Like my hair is so much healthier. Um, I wash my hair once a week. I try not to overwash it. And then when it starts to go up in a bun, it means it's dirty. What is my biggest accomplishment? What is my biggest accomplishment so far in 2019? There are people that are gonna be screaming at their, at their computer or TV screen. So many of you guys watch me on your TVs. It freaks me out, like I love it. Like, thank you. Whenever you guys tag me on your Instagram stories, uh, by the way, I see all of them. 99.9% .9 of the time I am on you guys' TVs, which again, freaks me out that I'm in people's living rooms, but thank you. So yeah, someone said, what's your biggest accomplishment of 2019 so far? Well, we achieved like our seven year goal this year. So I think that that was it. <laughs> Buying the house was for sure um, our biggest achievement. What's your best marriage advice? That it's normal to have ups and downs and stop thinking that there's like something wrong with you or there's something wrong with your marriage. Like it's supposed to be difficult. It's supposed to be hard work. It's just like running a business. Like if you don't put your energy into it and you don't pour into it, don't expect it to flourish. Who inspires me? I think a couple of you guys asked this, who inspires me? I am very, and I always have been very inspired by Walt Disney. And I know that that's like, okay, Angie, but there's this series on Disney plus right now called Imagineering. The first episode I cried, like you guys literally like pouring tears, like pouring. And Andrea's like, stop it. I was like, I can't. Walt was an amazing human being. Like don't, if you want to stay on, there's two things. You want to stay on my good side. Don't make fun of my elves and don't, say anything bad about Mr. Walt Disney. Love him. And that movie with Tom Hanks, he plays him dead. So I would say Walt, um, I would say like, this is kind of one of those questions. Who would you want to meet alive or dead? Walt, um, Tony Robbins has been a huge inspiration in my life. And okay. I feel like my answers are so like, meh. and our four parents, honestly, like that's it. <laughs> Congratulations, mom and dad. You guys are up there at Walt Disney and Tony Robbins. But we've been very inspired by our parents, all four of them, in terms of relationship. They both si both sets of parents have very successful marriages, businesses. They're just very good role models. And the way that they treat each other and the way that they live their lives, amazing. So that would be my slew of people that inspire me. Candidly, how have you and Andre become financially fit goals? We work our asses off. <laughs> we work all the time, but because we're together, it doesn't feel like work, but we're just, we're at it all the time. What is your favorite book that you read in 2019? The 12 week year. I'm probably never going to shut up about the 12 week year. If for productivity, like someone asked about productivity, 12 week year for sure. What is a good tip for good lighting and photos right now? I have zero lights. Like I have the light, like my Christmas tree. I'm in front of a huge window, go outside, go outside or sit in front of a window. That's always the best tip for lighting. Um, I can also, I'll leave the link for my lights that I use down below. Do you and your husband wake up at the same time? Pro honestly, never. Either Andre will be up before me or, he, or he'll be up at, like we never wake up at the same time. It's just, we've always been like that. How long have you collected your Christmas decor for? Since I lived at my parents' house. Years, like 10 years probably. Favorite ride in each of the parks at Walt Disney World? Thunder Mountain at, at Magic Kingdom. Flight of Passage at Animal Kingdom. Oh, I love Dinosaur too, though. Dinosaur is probably like one of my favorite rides. Okay, well, for Hollywood Studios, I know it's going to be the new Star Wars ride. Not the not the one that they just opened, but the one that they just, just opened. Rise of the Resistance. Like, I feel like I'm going to love that ride. So I'm just going to say that. Or Slinky. I love Slinky. Oh my God. Like, it oh, almost kills Andre, but I love it. And Epcot. Oh, I really love Frozen. But I'm going to say Soren. I love Test Track, but I really love Soren. Soren. Oh, a couple of you guys asked um, how to put on fake lashes. If I ever had eyelash extensions, if I prefer strip lashes. So right now I'm wearing like the best strip lashes ever. I'll link them. They're like super on sale. And I love, I've always loved strip lashes. I've done eyelash extensions. I personally don't love them. They never work on me and I always end up pulling them all out and I always spend, I spend way too much money on it. And I just, I stopped years ago and I, I hate the process of sitting there and doing it. And I've gone to like multiple people, multiple people, I don't like it. And it takes me like two seconds to put on my fake lashes. So if you've ever seen a get ready with me, I can do another one, but go see any get ready with me. I always include the part where I'm putting on the lashes because so many of you guys ask. The best tip I can say is let the glue dry. So Victoria asked, did you guys always know that you're going to get married? Actually, yes from like the second, he might not have known, but I knew. <laughs> what do you do for downtime or a hobby? I paint, I love painting. 
Oh, how long have I been a coach? I've been a coach for almost seven years. Have I ever been to the UK? No, I have not. When is my birthday? September 3rd, 1987. What is my favorite workout? My favorite workout right now is lift four, which is what I'm doing. And that's what I got like the craziest transformation with, which like these, that little, that little crease didn't build itself. Um, a lot of my girls are doing that program right now too. There's a lot of questions about kids. So my little brother just had a baby. Andre's sister just had two babies. So we were surrounded by little babies. And I was just talking yesterday. We went to like a family thing yesterday and I got asked that question a ton. And I was just telling my sister-in-law this as I'm like holding her daughter. And she's like, are a lot of people asking? I was like, yeah. And she was saying how like she got asked that a lot. And she said, people didn't realize, but like I was trying. So she said, it didn't exactly make me feel better that like, here I am trying for two years to have a kid and every time someone sees you, they ask you. And that was kind of what I said. I said like, how do people know whenever they ask? And like, I'm not mad by any means, but I always think about that. I'm like, how do they know that we're not trying or that we can't, or maybe that we did try and it didn't work out. You know, like, I just think it's such a personal question. Will we, I don't know, which I think is a suitable answer, but there's so many facets to it. I think it's such a personal question to ask. And I also think like, why do people always want to know that? But I guess, I guess it's a natural question to ask. I just, that's always my response is like, how do you know that I can? Are we planning another trip to Disney World soon? Yes, we are. We will be there in January. We're there like all the time now. It's ridiculous. And our friends are there right now and I'm watching like their every move. It's amazing. I actually help them like plan out where to eat and where to go and everything. And I'm, and I'm tracking the wait times on the app for them. <laughs> I love this question. Does my spin bike hurt my butt? No, but it might be where your seat is on your bike or it might just be because you're new to it but no it doesn't hurt my butt it grew my butt so my butt's not bony anymore <laughs> someone asked would i ever stop coaching and start a career pertaining to my degree absolutely not i never say never but no never um i this business has provided us so much more freedom why would i leave like a life of freedom to go like sit at a desk and earn less money i would never and i just think that the way that i studied in school is far different than how it would be in real life. Like so much less creativity and the amount of creativity that I can have doing this is insane. Like I get to choose how I train my clients, how my coaches get started. Like I created an entire university and I built that myself, which is the part that I love the most about the business and just being able to be creative. So no, I would never switch. Oh, and there was a lot of questions about merchandise. Okay, let's bring in Andre cause he's gonna love this question. So you're gonna love this question. Mm -hmm. Would we, there was a lot of questions about merchandise. Merchandise. Would you ever create merchandise? Carl t-shirt or socks? Carl t-shirts or socks? Here, I'll move this. Yeah. I mean, merchandise is something that we've talked about. Andre loves the idea of merch. Only because I love Can we create a palette? Uh, <laughs> I feel like that's so much work. That's so much work. Uh, but but merchandise is something that we've talked about and something that I think is, would be really cool for us. But like, if we're gonna do merchandise, what I'm adamant about is that we're not gonna take like the easy route and do like a basic t-shirt no. with like donuts, dumbbells, dream written on it. Like I want something that's high quality, like something that we would wear. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just like, I'm a, when it comes to fashion or streetwear, I'm like all in or I'm not in at all. So if it would end up, if it would ever end up that your brand would be into merchandise, it would be Someone full asked on if high we could quality. make Christmas ornaments. Heck yeah. <laughs> um, someone asked you, uh, can we do a video regarding finance tips and tricks and how we meet our financial goals? I feel like that would be like me. You don't want to hear from Angie. On I would be like, so you're going to go to home goods. No, I know about responsibilities. No, you're good. I'm, you're... I'm good at making it. I'm not so good at not spending. Mm -hmm. Andre, Andre creates like a budget and every, what are you doing under there? He's playing. Can you guys see him? Bro. Just leave him alone. He'll bite you. Um, it? so one thing that we do is like you create a monthly budget mm -hmm. in Excel and like Audrey tracks. So I, that would be like a quick tip. Is yeah. You know, track the, the where your money's thing, going. hundred percent. If, if you don't know where your money's going, then you can't manage it. And furthermore, like if you can't pre like predict where your money's going to go, then you're just flying by the seat of your pants. You're never going to be wealthy. You're never going to be financially stable. How did you and your husband meet? High school. I stalked him. Yeah. One of the questions was, did you know that you were going to get married right away? Did, did I know? 
I wouldn't say that. I was. We were both See, very I told young. You. We were both. Told very you. Young. No, I no, said no, I but, knew. Yeah, I know. But you were like, you were. I was like, head over heels. You were wise beyond your years, though. Like I was just a kid boy that like thought you were hot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's true. <laughs> okay. Um. Do you want me to stick around for more questions, or is that all you needed me for? Oh, how did we meet, though? We met in high school. Yeah, we met and in I, high school. And I stalked him. You, well, okay. I found what? you, though. Like, you may have stalked me, but I found you. And it was this great, this great dating app called MSN Messenger. And I saw her walking. It turned out you were my neighbor. She was my we neighbor. We lived in the same neighborhood. We didn't know. You know what? It, our, our, how we met was very much like 16 Candles. Like, Andre, even down to, like, the cute red car. Mm. Cute? hot red car yeah that's better. and he was two years it's just like 16 candles you were two years older than mm -hmm. me and i didn't i was like he doesn't even know i exist yet he did yeah so actually i don't even know well you probably do know this but i saw you walking across the neighborhood and then i asked a friend, friend. of yours who was also a friend of mine for your email and then we started talking on msn messenger that's kind of anticlimactic. so but. cute well no because the favorite disney ride a lot of people are asking uh but um Flight of Passage. Flight of Passage. Yeah. And I, and I said it's going to be Rise of the Resistance as well, probably. I think we're going to love it. We might die a slow, painful death on it because there's a drop, but I'm excited. <laughs> um, there's so many questions. I know. So, but, but you're not going about it very organized right I now, was. Until there's a I lot of around? No, there's a lot of questions that repeat themselves, so I'm just not answering any repeats. I see. Okay. Favorite thing about being Canadian we're friendly oh, people are very friendly here no they are <laughs> my cart okay i literally ran into someone today at home goods with, and we were both like sorry i'm so sorry i'm so sorry i feel like anywhere else i've been like move <laughs> no, there's a lot of cool things about being canadian we have good food yeah i'm just trying to think of the things though it's cold it is cold our summers are beautiful though what is your f this is so good what is your favorite song by eminem this ties into a lot i already know yours eight mile that was our first kind of date like That's that true. was our first excursion as a we weren't even a couple yet i was still pursuing him and we went to see eight mile yeah and, and your favorite is eight mile right? i love it's eight mile well what's your favorite song probably till i collapse but it's not our it's not our song the other one's not our song. It's either. our song. It's your. You made me. Song. Andre made me a mix. I was gonna say a mixtape. We're not no, that old. Not that a old. A mix CD, and it had Eight Mile on it. Yeah. He brought it to my house when we were dating. Okay. And everything else is stuff that I've answered. Hi. Well, this is our little family. This is. <laughs> Thank us. you so much, you guys. If you want to see more of Andre, let us know in the comments below. <laughs> he did. It. He was in a full gift guide for him. I took it seriously. I I see that's the most. It was common really. It was comments. one of my. It was one of my favorite videos of the entire month because I laughed so much. Oh, giveaway winner! All right. So this was the giveaway for this week, which is like the cutest. There. So this is what we did as the giveaway, and then I always wrap it up with like Christmas wrapping and a card, and then I add in all my favorite beauty products. So that's going out to Kendra Monique. So we congratulate! Yay! So we're gonna link it in the bot in the description like we'll put your her instagram handle and we'll be in contact with you and we'll get your shipping address we'll probably ship it out tonight actually if we can get it fast mm -hmm. enough it's good idea. and the net okay that was the other thing so the next giveaway what i wanted to do was get like a bunch of like my favorite like disney type of stuff so it'll be we're gonna share it all on stories i think so stay tuned on stories probably today or tomorrow and i will announce it all because we're doing giveaway every single every single week all right i hope you guys enjoyed our little q a <laughs> thank you for all of your questions that was i tried to plow through them as best i could if you guys like the q a's and the longer videos and you like hanging out please let us know in the comments below if you did enjoy it give it a thumbs up make sure that you are subscribed hit the bell for notifications and we will see you guys next time bye dudes